What I have here is a mini monitor and you may actually need one because it's a pretty cool tech thing to have. Now let's get straight into the video. Now welcome back at I'm Watson PSUs and I have had one of those for the past two years. Even though I initially bought it mostly to test computers here on the channel, you know, I just wanted to be able to set up a PC on the go, even on the road while buying computers if needed, it ended up being a very good purchase. I've used it for so many different things which I would have never thought that it made me want to do this video. What this is, is basically a standard monitor like the ones you would have with a stand, but without the stand or better, with an integrated stand in a smaller size, the one I have here today is an 18 inch one, basically self-powered, so with no charger. You can actually connect this to your computer or connect it to the wall via a simple phone charger with USB-C. And that allows you to connect it on the go to pretty much whatever you want. Now, what I've used it for the most is as a second monitor for my laptop when on vacation. Now, if you take a look at the setup behind me, you will see that I have two ultra wide monitors. So it's basically like having four monitors and I use those every day. So when I'm on vacation, it's very strange to switch to a single monitor setup, which is why I just carried this mini monitor with me and I plugged it to the laptop and used it as a secondary monitor, which is especially useful because this model I have here today, which is from the same brand as the monitor I've used so far, but the refresh is the E4 from Uperfect, can be powered by a single USB-C cable. So if you have a laptop with USB-C output, you can use the cable as output and as power delivery as well which makes it even more convenient. Another thing which I've done earlier this year is I had to go pretty far away for work. However, <laughs> where I was working, they told me that they wanted to do a LAN party. So I just brought my PlayStation and this mini monitor and I was able to basically get set up simply by getting the power cord of the PS5 plugged in and by asking the password of the Wi-Fi. I needed nothing else than the PlayStation and the mini monitor to play on the go. If I had this thing while I was younger and I was like, going with my grandparents for like a month away, I would have just brought over this on my PlayStation and would have been able to play in the summer, which probably would have made me stay inside the whole summer, but I think I would have been pretty happy doing it. Now, while at home, I found myself using the mini monitor sometimes as a further screen. Now, listen, I may have a problem to many screens, okay? But I just find it convenient. Like, let's say I'm gaming on the main monitor and I have Discord on the secondary monitor. I can then have a YouTube video on my third monitor, okay, maybe maybe I have ADHD, but, but anyways, I find it pretty convenient while in the main setup, but not as much as when you're traveling. I think this thing is mostly suitable if you're building a travel setup. And uh, what I mean by that is like a small keyboard, wireless mouse, a mini ITX gaming PC, like those we cover on the channel, and a monitor like this. Basically, you can pack your whole gaming setup instead of a small suitcase and you can even go on planes with them and you will be able to play or work more importantly well depending on your priorities no matter where you are now let's actually get into what i have here today which is an u perfect monitor now this is basically the refresh of the monitor i had before however it has a bigger screen coming in at 18 inches and key part a lower resolution which i find more suitable for my needs but it may not be for yours so this one is a 1080p full hd pretty much resolution with 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, if you go on Uperfect websites, they have basically every single resolution from 1080p all the way to 4K and all kinds of refresh rate from 60 hertz all the way to incredibly on a mini monitor, 240 hertz. And they even have touchscreen models. So which one should you get if you're considering one? Well, my recommendation is going to be that most of you are actually going to be better off buying a 1080p model because I've had the 1440p one for a while and uh, 60 hertz though. Going from 60 hertz to 120 if you're gaming is a massive difference, okay? So the refresh rate alone is worth it 100% if you're gaming. But that's not the only reason. The other reason is if you're using this with a laptop and your laptop is 1080p, you don't want a 1440p screen because it's gonna be either upscaled, so it's gonna have worse pixel density than this screen is gonna have if you use a 1440p downscaled, or you're simply gonna have just uh, problems with the aspect ratio, again, depending on your laptop. But I haven't had the best experience with a 1440p one. I also find by connecting it to computers, most computers have their desktop configured in 1080p. So if I'm using this to troubleshoot clients PC, 
I prefer to have it in 1080p, just personally. But for my personal use, again, since I like to game on it, 1440p, high refresh rate is what matters. And so your PC or console is gonna dictate what you get. So if you're on console and you wanna play multiplayer, you have to buy a high refresh rate one. If you're on PC, uh, it depends on which PC you have. So if you have a very strong Mini ATX gaming rig, definitely you can buy a 1440p, 144Hz one if you prefer. But if you wanna save money on your PC or if you have a lower end PC, I think a 1080p model is the best one to buy. Now, you're probably asking, what's the difference between this and the older model. Now, I just want to talk briefly about the differences between the older UPerfect models and what I have here today. This one has a much better stand and again, double USB-C, they give you a lot of cables in the package, and it has a mini HDMI to HDMI to connect to your computer, which I think is very convenient and a nice upgrade. Now, it also has pretty good integrated speakers and a lot, and I mean a lot, of configuration options. So this thing supports free sync. You can go ahead change the brightness, change the contrast, change the game mode. It even has HDR support in the options, which is genuinely crazy for the price because I haven't told you, but this thing is like under 200 bucks. And uh, I think maybe I'm gonna be able to get discount code to put in the description. So check if I have it. It's gonna be if you buy from the UPerfect store, I think. Now this one though, compared to the older model, doesn't have the cover. It's a small loss, but you have to be a bit more careful when packing it, I think, if you're bringing it around. Because the older one had a cool cover which would cover the screen, but the stand was a lot worse. This one is great stand-wise. Now, when it comes to off-brand models, UPerfect is a pretty new brand. Like when I bought my first one, it, they weren't famous. Now they're pretty popular, but the quality is good. Other brands, they may also be good, but the price difference isn't gonna be as much, I think. So I would rather just buy something I know, but that's of course up to you. If I've convinced you that it may be a good idea to get a mini monitor, but actually I didn't wanna convince you, just wanted to tell you why I've had a good experience with one and why I just got a second one, pretty much. But let me know if you have one down below, let me know what you've done with it and why you've bought it. And uh, if you wanted one, but didn't buy it also, let me know why in the end you didn't buy it. And uh, if you've seen the video this far, maybe drop a like and a follow. I generally cover computers, but I review, uh, you know, keyboards and other peripherals sometimes. So if you're here for that, you may also like it. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys again. Bye-bye.